The speed of light is really amazing, and it seems no matter how we try to break through it, the laws of physics always finds a way to stop us. But how will it get around this surprising plan? Let's take a poll. I'm Michael Aranda, and here's my question. Imagine that you have a very long pole that reaches from here to the moon. Is it possible for you to move that pole to tap on the moon in Morse code to communicate with people on the moon faster than the speed of light? Thanks, Michael. And what an interesting hypothesis that is. It would make sense to think that if you could take a long enough pole and swing it across space at its reasonable speed, that the tip would be traveling the speed of light. But the speed is still not achieved. And here's why. Molecules can only communicate with themselves at the speed of sound. So when I take this pole and I swing it, there's actually a wave going on. The back is actually moving before the front is. The reason you don't see it is because the wave is actually traveling at the speed of sound. And to make it even harder to notice, the speed of sound is actually dramatically faster in the solid than it is in, say, air, the one that we're more familiar with. For instance, the speed of sound through air is 343 meters per second, when the speed of sound through, say, steel is 6,100 meters per second squared. But as fast as that may sound, that is still nothing compared to the speed of light, which, as a reminder, is 300 million meters per second. So effectively, when you swing your ridiculously long pole through the air, hoping to break the light barrier, it's actually gonna just totally skew itself, and the entire pole is going to be bending and lagging behind. In fact, there's actually energy trying to be lost when you swing the pole around, so the chances are the tip won't actually move at all. But again, that's just one theory. I don't think we'll ever find a way to actually do it because it is just a lot of physics and you don't mess with that. But if you have any ideas on how we could possibly break the light, Barrier, let me know. Put it in the comments. We'll try to see what's going on. And thanks again, Michael, for your question. You can check out the show that he hosts here. It's called SciShow. If you haven't heard of that, then wake up. And here's his personal channel that is also really neat. Uh, definitely recommend it to you guys. And if you have any more questions for me, definitely doesn't have to be about science. It can be about anything. Just feel free to comment on the ground. I'm going to be picking them up. Uh, it can be anything that you want. The point here is to try to stump me. And you can also drop the comments in Twitter. You just follow me at Zach Answers and ask me there. It'll probably be easier for me as well anyway. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more amazing answers to come. I'm Zach, and until next time.